Mystery Science Theater 3000 show uh, for 20 Real One. In the not too distant future, next Sunday, AD, there was a guy named Joel, not too different from you or me. He worked at Gizmonic Institute, just another face in a red jumpsuit. He did a good job cleaning up the place, but his boss didn't like him, so they shot him in the space. Song in 30 seconds. Oh, hi, everybody. Welcome to the Satellite of Love. I'm Joel Robinson. I had a little free time on my hands, and I thought it'd be time to do some modifications on the bots. I thought I'd ask them what they'd like. Gypsy? Um, maybe a cab forward design. Okay, cab forward. Anything else? Yeah, maybe another eye. Hi. And uh, perhaps a fin. Oh, oh so yeah. fins. Okay, gotcha. Okay, crawl. Oh, I'll just stay the way I am, unless you can find a way to give me more capacity to love. <laughs> what a great a femme. Hey, Tom Crow, I'll check into that. Thank okay. you. Okay, all right. Okay, Tom, your okay, turn. Okay, how much time we got? Oh, I don't know, maybe. Uh, grab my sketches down there, oh, will you? Oh, boy. Oh, these, okay. okay, folks, these are just a few line drawings that should serve as a broad outline of what I'm looking for. Okay, this is a complete redesign that I've called Tank Rambo. It's an all-terrain assault me fitted with titanium tracks and a laser cannon capable of unheard of destruction. <laughs> uh, could you give us a sense of scale? Sure, I'm 600 feet long. Cost is $93 billion. Oh, I don't think Okay, that next. Oh, next, come sorry. on. Okay, Ron Selwall, right. This one is admittedly complex. It involves making a microscopic me and fusing it to genetic material. And I'd live parasitically in the bloodstream of a mule deer. I enter through the cell wall, work like a virus, forcing the deer's own body to create more of me until the cell walls burst. <laughs> and hundreds of me stream out to begin the process all over again. I'm equipped with shifting antigens, so I don't even try to find a cure. <laughs> Commercial sign in five seconds. Okay, next. Oh, next, sorry. please, come on. Oh, good. I call this design Don Stouffer. It's me as a full-service hotel with a revolving restaurant on top. Set in trendy downtown Seattle, I would appeal mostly to infinity-driving music agents. We'll be right And back. the service would be top drawer, but emphasize youth, leaning slightly towards the familiar. You know, ponytail waiters, gaunt, pasty flesh desk clerk. Now, what's this one supposed to be? Oh, that's me, except I'm moist. Oh, come on, you guys. The Duchess and the Dirtwater Fox are calling. Well, Joe, with tongue planted firmly in cheek, we give you this week's Invention Exchange. It's from the mixed-up files of one Dr. Clayton Forrester. And the button-down mind of TV's Frank. It's from the breezy, irreverent viewpoint of Dr. Clayton Forrester. And the quirky, offbeat perspective of... TV's Frank. The twisty, skewered, slightly bent brain of Dr. Clayton Forrester. The wacky, whimsical way of TV's Frank. It's from the... Would you just get on with it? <laughs> <laughs> Our invention... <laughs> Our invention this week is based on... <laughs> <laughs> How many times has this happened to you? <laughs> Your fridge is stuffed with tasty food. <laughs> I can't do it. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. We've got a bad case of the sillies. <laughs> 
Huh. Sometimes I just don't understand your generation's humor. Well, we'll do our invention exchange first, Joel. Well, when I was a kid, it was all the rage to wear a beanie copter from Bob Clampett's Beanie and Cecil show. Well, times have changed. I'm a man now, and I like things that are a lot more powerful and a lot more cool. That's why we've come up with a beanie chopper. It's got a 400 horsepower Liberty engine with a supercharger and a circular piston configuration, just like the 1931 Balanca, the one that Hugh Hendren and Clyde Pangborn used when they flew nonstop across the Pacific for the first time. <laughs> okay, Joel, gas on. Gas on. Contact. Contact! Oh. Huh. Huh. Well, uh, pretty neat, huh? <laughs> Are you kidding? I thought you were gonna go through the roof. Well, I can't go through the roof. We're in space and all. I just... I just figured you guys would like it a lot more. I really, you know, put a lot of work into it and everything. Oh, yeah, it's great, Joel. I just thought you were gonna go through the roof. Yeah, it's really, um... Something. Uh, I kind of agree with Crow. Should have gone through the roof. I guess I thought you'd go through the roof is all. <laughs> okay, invention exchange. Invention exchange. Now this time I mean it. <laughs> Have you seen those commercials for First Alert? with William Conrad for First Alert. Well, our invention exchange this week is a similar concept we call the Fridge Alert. <laughs> now, come on, Frank, come on. Come on, I'm serious, I'm serious. It's a special alarm specifically designed to keep William Conrad away from your refrigerator. <laughs> okay, now, when William Conrad opens your refrigerator door, an alarm signals the fact that it's William Conrad who's stealing your phone. <laughs> now, now I, I set the alarm off for demonstration purposes, but remember, it only works when it's William Conrad who's raiding your refrigerator. <laughs> Which is totally absurd. I mean, who's going to need this thing? Maybe Quinn Martin. <laughs> and he's dead. <laughs> Your movie this week. <laughs> it's a human duplicator. That's <laughs> Richard Gale! <laughs> I get me! I'm William Carter! <laughs> I just figured he'd uh, go through the ceiling. Oh, yeah. Hi. Oh, oh, hi. Hey, it's a tux medicated film. <laughs> <laughs> the flame. Yes, it's, uh, Very nice. Oh, Very nice. Oh. Huh? Attack of the Christmas ornament from the 60s. But I'm a Grimaldi warrior. <laughs> Let's all play the Family Feud! At Numa Srutless Little Pud! Oh, well, that's different. Oh, George Nader, he's untalented at any speed. Zing! This just in cheap set used for cheesy movie, crappy film at 11. You gotta have faith. Huge Beaumont. All right. <laughs> All right. I'm Billy Bud for Melville Buick. <laughs> We're having a whale of a sale down here. Eileen Bambi Hamilton. <laughs> She's a wrestler. I know Ooh. it. Consolidated Film Industries, a subsidiary of Conhugeco. Hey, look, they saved Liberace's brain. That's my brother George's brain. Uh, somebody please turn off the watch display in the middle there. Thank you. Mickey Manners? <laughs> this is a 60s game show. 
No, it's from the high energy comedy team of Walner and Wheezy. <laughs> Almost Arthur C. Clarke, but not quite. <laughs> Any relation to Mildred Pierce? No, but thanks for asking. Oh, oh Hugo Grimaldi, he went on to do a better thing, mm -hmm. I think. Like what? Next week on Human Duplicators. Calling Scott Tracy. Scott Tracy, report. It's an origami spaceship. S-A-N-T-A-C-L-A-U-S-A-A, five centi clouds back at Casino Royale. I can name that tune in four notes. I'll take things a huge, untalented actor would say for 1,000, please. It's a Warhol series. What is your report? I wish to report to the Intergalactic Council that my carrier has arrived on station as program. I await further orders. Clear your throat. You may now be advised of your assignment. Damn, homework. The primary objective of your mission to planet Earth is to establish a colony within the advanced society of the planet. Okay. This is necessary in order that we may expand our galaxy domination program mm -hmm. in the near future. Hmm. I understand the importance of the mission. Yeah, you right. will accomplish this infiltration of the Earth Society oh. with the aid of Professor von Dornheimer, <laughs> a renowned scientist of that society. And a good friend. I understand, Master. If you are detected, if you fail in any way... It will go on your permanent record. ...be destroyed. I will not fail. Much. Agent Polo, you may now take your place before the teletransporter. We will contact you after you've had sufficient time to accomplish your mission. Okay, bye bye now. Bye bye. Your celebrity partner will be Nipsey Russell. Ooh. A sprinkle a day makes Richard Keel go away. <laughs> Did I leave the iron on? Oh no, he got beamed into the song of the South. The I'm huge. We visited Anthony Robbins and his palatial home in Del Mar. Hmm. I begin my tour of Southern California with a quick trip to Greystone. Now, this is Beverly Hills Cop, only the slow white version. So, uh, what is his mission? I don't know. Selling band candy or something? You rang. Oh, wait, I'm not Ted Cassidy. Ah! Can oh. I help you, sir? I wish to see Professor Dornheim. I'm very <coughs> sorry, sir. The professor's very busy. You'll have to make an appointment. I wish to see the professor at once. Uh, oh, God, go right in. Uh. He must have read Getting to Yes. Mm. Looks like the Ponderosa. Mm. Mm. Excuse me, where is the little giant's room? Kate Mulgrew is Mrs. Chopin. Uh, dear Penthouse, uh, I am a giant from a small Midwestern satellite, and uh, I'm here for my piano lesson, Madam Sozatska. Uh, Silky, have you been rolling in the car? Thor, is that you? Oh, she's blind. Well, that explains the decorating. Uncle, is that you, Professor? Uh, no, it's me, Gilligan. Hey, who knows where that hand has been? <sighs> Sleep! Oh, well. Who is it? Who's there? I am Dr. Kolos, a colleague of Professor Dornheimer. I have traveled a great distance to see him. Gee, somebody get her a sandwich. Professor is in his laboratory. Was he expecting you, Doctor? No, he was not expecting my visit. No, but he'll be pleasantly surprised. Well, he doesn't surprised. like to be disturbed <laughs> while he is working. Perhaps you could phone in the morning for an appointment. Or if you care to wait, I... It is imperative that I see him at once. It's a stripogram. I assure you, it will be all right. My business with your uncle is of extreme importance. Come on, I'm huge. You, you may trust in me, Lisa. How did you know my name? I had been informed of your presence here. But I had not expected you to be... So beautiful. Look, I'm from another planet. The meter's I ready. I will show you to the laboratory, Dr. Colos. 
It's quite all right, Doctor. I can find my way. You see, I grew up here. Mm. I know every inch of this house by heart. Ooh, new inch. Uh, I guess you know that you're leading me into the bathroom, haha. -ha. It's the blind leading the bland. And this is the kitchen. Uh, here's the new stove we just ordered from Sears. And, uh, this is my room. It's stunning pinks. <laughs> Marilyn's date is here, and he's ugly! This is my velvet underground. Like it? Uh, looks like they forgot to strike the time tunnel set. Oh, great. Look who came in, and without an appointment, I might add. It's Grant Tinker! <gasps> The god of hellfire, and I bring you... Oh. oh my god, you're huge. I'm sure I do not know you, sir. But I think I could like Perhaps you. Perhaps you made a mistake. There is no mistake, Professor Dorham. Hmm. I have come to assist you in your experiment. Uh, but we're not hiring. But I don't need your assistance. <laughs> but then again, I could use a huge man and a... <laughs> but you do, sir. Your theories are correct, but your technique is wrong. Everything you In know is manner, wrong. You will not reach your goal for many years. Hmm. Together, Professor, we shall create an android in a few days. Uh, besides, I brought my own life. I have important work to do. I will not be distracted by a total stranger with fantastic ideas. Thanks, I think. But you will, sir. Hans and Fleischmann, the early years. I command it. Oh, well, in, in that case. <laughs> I am Colos. And Diet Colos. Kevin McHale, no! I am your master. Ah. Oh, brother's got his own horn section. Oh, cool. Next week on Human Duplicators. Good morning, sir. Ah, sit and spin. They're kind of a high security budget hell yeah. here. Mm. Well, he's lucky to get a parking spot so close. He's got uh, special clearance to the hospitality suite. Well, you know, he could have walked down those high security steps over there. Yeah. Yes, well, I worked at NASA back when we were next to cost cutters. Dr. Munson, good morning, sir. Hey, it's the Maytag repairman. Johnson. Came in a little early, couldn't sleep. I'm here for the Mr. Drysdale audition. <laughs> That's right, couldn't sleep. Good chance to dream. Oh, wait, sir. Uh, I'm sorry, doctor, but you know our security rules. Yes, of course. Hmm. Hop like a bunny. Okay, let's see. Woozle, whose name is Peanut. There you go. There. Is that better? Yes, sir. Thank you. Wait, sit and spin. Hey, wait a minute. Computer room, eh? Boy. Yeah, that better be a continental breakfast. That's all I gotta say. Wait, why did he have to sign in to go outside? California. Oh, boy. <laughs> that makes it good. It's the pawnbroker meets It's a Mad, 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 Mad World. The restored version. Hmm. Is, hey, wait a minute. I only have so many years left. Why am I wasting my time in this film? Ah. Hey, Fred Flintstone's running somewhere. Oh, yo, yo. I wet him. Ooh, gotta get to bio. Uh, this is what they get for leaving national security secrets in a high school in Pasadena. It's the office of Daniel Ellsberg's electrician. I'll stand still, he won't see me. <laughs> Oh, Dr. Where's your AV card? I thought you were in the computer room. What happened here? There's nothing to be concerned about, Johnson. It's old. Nothing so. whatever. Glad everything's all right. Sounds like a promotion. Dr. Heimlich, the early years. 
Now, to take all the penny nails I want. <laughs> oh, class is dismissed. School's out forever. <laughs> hey, look, there's a doorknob, buddy. Jerk. Dr. Benson, stop. I think I love you. Greenie's stick'em caps won't stop him. All right, okay, forget it. I'll sign you out then. Okay, bye. Stop in the name of Tom Bodet! One item 12, one item 12. See the man. Government secret stolen from the Motel 6. You know, there's one thing I can't stand, Steve. What's that, Wayne? Towel thieves. Mm. Need a room, please. Hey. Ten speed and brown shoe. This is Lynn Martin, National Intelligence Agency. And I, hey, this might be a story. Wish we were reporters. Is this a federal case, Mr. Martin? You tell me. I only know what I read in your papers. Well, what does he mean by that? Well, it's simple. Something's up, so he doesn't want to talk. They never do those guys from NIA. You might as well forget about it. Well, not me. If there's a story here, I'm going to get it. With my sure, accordion. Kid, sure. Officer Krupp, keep him down on my knees. Thank you, Constable. I'm oh, he's here. a court low. Why should I hurry? You're doing my work for me. Who? Mickey Spillane. Can't even have a quiet homicide anymore without you and IA boys being involved. <laughs> you pull that suit off the Riddler? We're dealing with a espionage ring. It might be just that, Shaw. Dick Clark. What'd they take this time? Same as before. Transistors, diodes, laser crystal, things like that. I can't believe I loved him. And the suspect? Well, seemed like a nice guy. Trusted member of the staff. Character above suspicion as usual. Same. Dr. Munson, head physicist. Three times in the past three months. That, uh, well, here he something is. like espionage in our books. Oh, you're kneeling on his head. Looks like this Dr. Munson was the strong man type. Dr. Munson, Bro, honeydew. I got news for you, Glenn Boy. That man's some kind of a superman. The guard outside fired four shots into him point blank, never even phased him. And to top that, he busted through a two inch door out there. Drinking before noon again? Tries to bring him in. I want to take a look at his files. Where's his office? Across the hall. I'll show you. Next to the ice machine. Lieutenant Shaw, the highway patrol is calling in from Stone Canyon. All right. Eric Estrada is on his way. Hmm. His wheat looks just about ready to harvest. Who are you going to call? Space Research Corporation and Motor Lodge. <laughs> Give me Broderick Crawford. This is Shaw. Let's have it. Lieutenant, we found the car, but your man's vanished. For the moment, anyway. We've checked and double-checked the canyon road. Not a trace. Well, keep checking. Can't get far. He's wounded. We won't be able to search too well until the morning fog lifts, sir. Well, do the best you can. My wife. He doesn't have much of a chance. Don't take bets on it. Come on, let's take a look at those files. Hey, it's Mr. Foreman Shaw, and Clark. Just tell me, who did what to whom and why? Did I have to ask him? It's his case. I'm just here to assist. <laughs> here we go again, kid, the old ball game. All right, Mr. Martin, what's the score? You want all the facts and nothing but the facts, right? right. So help us, guy. Our office will issue a statement for the press as soon as we have those facts. Uh, come on, give us a break, will you? Right, that's Say, are those bugle boy jeans? And so Hercules entered the realm of the Minotaur. I think it's my battery again. Uh, hope you brought the buns. Is there any way to get down there? Uh, donkeys? There's a trail over here. It's quite a hike, though. This place is at? I think I know. His house is in the village, though. State. There's a funny old guy. He wants complete privacy. Must be a famous doctor or something. Well, it takes all kinds. <laughs> Let's go. Can I ride your back? I want to ride on your back. Come on. Bobby! Cindy! To be continued. Hey, let's ask this old guy taking a nap. <laughs> Kids come down here and drink lime vodka. He's sort of lost his way. The mess. In all that fog this morning, he couldn't see the edge of the cliff. Where you gotta go? Hmm. Come on, mister, you can't sleep here. How <laughs> oh, Munson.
Okay, everybody ready with the big craft project? Yeah. Uh -huh. Oh, yes! Yes, okay. yes, yes! Oh, right. yes, yes! Okay, yes. and that craft project was? To make our very own spaceship, spaceship. that looks just as good as the one in today's experiment. Out of everyday things you find around the house. Exactly, and who wants to go first? Okay, okay, Gypsy, you go first. Oh, uh, this is yours. Boy, it looked like you put a lot of work into it. What'd you use? I used a Quaker Oats box, uh -huh. some of my old earrings, mm -hmm. a sneaker, and some carpet pieces left over from when I single-handedly remodeled my room. Oh, that is great. You know what? I'm going to put that on the refrigerator. Oh, oh. oh, and we have Tom's over here. It looks like he's got a... Clorox bottle, is it? Yeah, it's a spaceship, but I suppose you could use it as a rock salt scoop, whatever, I don't know. Doesn't sound like you're too into it, Tom. Okay, draw two nose holes on it, and it's a piggy bank. Oh, right. crow T robot, would you uh, look at yeah. this? This is exemplary yeah. crow. It's a scale model of the satellite of love, and it is fantastic. How did you do it, Crow? String, toothpicks, eggshells, and baking powder paste. I'm going to put lighter fluid on it and burn it in the driveway. Well, it just goes to show you that you can make a spaceship model out of anything. Here's mine right here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Look at that piece of crap. <laughs> mm -hmm. Look, what did you use here? A bowling pin, lacrosse helmet, some Tupperware panels. I, I, Wait uh, a minute. Uh, no. <laughs> commercial sign. Oh, commercial what? sign. Oh, yeah, commercial, commercial sign. sign. <laughs> commercial <laughs> sign. There. <laughs> Danzinger? That was close. <laughs> now, Monster. They all sent in Northern Exposure spec scripts. As clean as mine, maybe cleaner. All three of them were excellent security risks. It's a familiar pattern. Top scientist engaged in top-level research work suddenly walks off with valuable data and materials. Hugh, Hugh Beaumont, Why? America's Who's dad. Behind all this? Well, at least we know it's not the Russians. They already have the technology to produce the same material. An Irving you know, Falberg. I know it's a long shot, but I'm beginning to suspect Red China's our heavy. The closest these have ever been to anything Chinese is the local chop suey house. <laughs> Shut and up! Who? We've got to come up with something, and quick, Washington's breathing down my neck. The question is, which one of these is going to be next? Take your pick. They're all above suspicion. Mm. We've had them under surveillance for over a month. Oh, here's one I wouldn't mind having under surveillance. That's my daughter, you bastard. Dr. Lin Yun. Yum, Global yum. Research Division Pacific Laboratories. Uh, she's top drawer. She's here from Taiwan as a special favor to the nationals. Hmm? Yeah, what is it now? Wilson is here with the reports from the crime lab. Anne or Nancy? Our troubles are over. Gail Wilson, number one undercover girl, is on the case. It's Mary Kay Ash. You have an eye for talent, Mr. March, but that's about all. Jamming a radar. The way track in this case. That's what I love about you, dear, your respect for your superiors. All right, Gail, mm -hmm. what'd you get? Add a noise. It seems Dr. Munson did not die from a fall over the cliff. Are you serious? Will that hairdo? Here's the coroner's report. The coroner's report? Oh, first he was shot, then he wasn't shot, then he... Uh, uh, was dead, only he wasn't killed. I suppose now we'll discover he died from an overdose of sleeping pills. No, yeah. he was electrocuted. A no. Electrocuted. Now, look, Gail, don't you play games with me. I'll have you transferred back to Washington. Miss Hart! On the level. See for yourself. Dr. Munson was dead at least 12 hours before they found him in the canyon. Well, could we please just not fight? Found my house on here. All right, Glenn. Fight me. Suppose you tell me how a man who's been dead for several hours can drive a car up a mountain road, get out, and jump over a cliff. He's Jesus? He murdered, hmm. driven there by somebody, and thrown over the cliff. What a wonderful deduction. Thank you. You missed your calling, Mr. Martin. Oh? You should have been a detective. Oh, she did it again. Well, I suppose we'll discover the man who was shot by the guard at the research lab was uh, Dr. Munson's non-existent twin brother. I'm kidding, of Listen, course. <laughs> Gail, see what the research department has on a Dornheimer estate. It's a mansion on the Palisades here. Professor Dornheimer? Who's he? A famous physicist. Your Prozac, sir. He used to be on the Space Agency Advisory Board until recently. Now he's retired. He uh, acts as a sort of a consultant to the younger generation. If a, if a genius has a problem, he goes to see the old professor. I'm then checking out. He'd know all the leading scientists personally. Well, probably. Why? What's on your mind? Well, you just said it. When a genius has a problem, he goes to see the old professor. Hey, what about our luncheon date? It is now a dinner date. I already have a dinner date. Break it. 
Jeez, what a dickweed. That's what I love about him. He's so modest, so considerate, and so sure of himself. And so sure of you? Prozac? Guests of the Human Duplicators stay at the airport inn on the Beltline. What's this? Donald O'Connor driving Miss Daisy? I want you to follow Mr. Rockford and see to it that he has a serious accident that will take him off the case permanently. Mustang moves, Mustang grooves, oh Mustang, Mustang 68. It's Marvel. Oh, the Mustang, Mustang he's almost for real. real. What horse do? <gasps> he's driving to Norma Desmond's house. Hey, quit trilling out here. Thank you. It's kind of stuffy out here in the garden today, and knew your father I did. But I have to go really bad. I want to know what's going on down there. I have told you. We are conducting important experiments. They are secret in nature. But why is everyone so different? Thor. A little. The lab assistant. Hmm? Even Uncle seems strange. Hmm. You are only imagining these things. I am not. Or two. Since you came here, everything has been different. Even my clothing. I'm not allowed to leave the estate. I can't speak to visitors. Why, Kodos? Why does everyone take orders from you? Lisa, you must not defy me. I bet he doubles as a couch. Hmm? Oh, it's Ephraim Zimbalist Jr. Jr. Are you familiar with Greenpeace? You, sir. Were you on Mission yes, Impossible? I'd like to see Professor Dornheimer. <laughs> Glenn Martin of View Magazine. We'd like to do a feature article on him. I will give the professor your message. Please wait in here, sir. Thank you. Marilyn, you got another date. Hmm, nice uh, stuff. You got this here. looks kind of like my parents' living room. Mm. Really? Mm -hmm. Geez, I hate cold calling. Them. Oh. Little girl. Little girl, do you always hide from guests? When they're as unappealing as you, I do. Not a little girl. Oh, I should say not. Excuse me. I, uh, I should have said Terpsichore. I should have said King Tinker Yes. Yeah. I'm trying out for ice castles. You a friend of my uncle? If you mean Professor Dornheimer, no, <coughs> I'm an uh, admirer. Of fine silk products. Oh, I, uh, I believe that's your scarf. I'm sick of picking up your things, Thank darling. You. Mr. Martin. Glenn Martin. Glenn Ross. Mr. Martin. Jim, you must Sam. not remain here. I can't tell you any more, but... Hmm? Mr. Martin. Vince Lombardi. <gasps> Forgot my pants. Hobson's choice. Professor <laughs> Dornheimer? This is my hand. It's an honor for me. There it is. And still, ah. Then... <laughs> There's no need to be formal, Mr. Martin. Please, take off your hands. I am hands. a simple man. You wish to do some kind of paper, I believe. Yes, a feature article. I'd like to give the public a view into the, into the daily life of a great scientist. As you have already seen, <laughs> my life is not the dull routine the general public might imagine. No, your niece is lovely. What the hell is that supposed but to mean? Not perfect. What is it that you wanted to know about me, Mr. Martin. Do you like to I wear understand mittens? that you often give advice to some of our leading scientists. I try to be of help. But look at me. Knowledge should be available to those who know how to use it. Are they speaking in then code? Your experience is not available to all scientists. Certainly not. I deny them my essence. Knowledge, especially advanced knowledge, should be entrusted to the select few, hmm. the superior minds. Oh, I see philosophy like that could make a pretty wide gap in human understanding, we'd end up with a civilization of extremes. The few who have everything, the rest who have nothing. 
Sounds like the Reagan Bush theory. Mm -hmm. That's his own philosophy, Mr. Martin. I like pancakes. He's able to think for himself. Yes. Well, that's true. Mm -hmm. Any more booze um, over here? I understand that you knew Doctors Danziger and La Sartier. Is that right? Well, what about us, Stelgetti? Oh, yes, of course. Why do you ask? Were they members of your so-called select group? I ought to kick your so-called so butt. Called confidential information. Give me my drink Might back. Might be considered that. Ah, my other niece. Sir, Dr. Carlos wishes to speak to you. Thank you, Thor. Will you excuse me for a few moments, Mr. Martin? Certainly. Okay if I play bumper pool? I guess not, huh? Alone with the booze. <laughs> well, how about a little harp solo, huh? Yeah. Oh, who do you think decorated here? Miss Kitty? Somebody's tipping the light fantastic. It's Marty Feldman. Hey, Wordy, what the heck? What? Oh, oh, there he is. This man, a tyrannical dictator, is in love with this man, who is in love with this man, who is played by Peter Lupus. Uh -oh. <clears throat> nothing, nothing. Grim shave. Oh, do you have any olives? Looking for olives. Couldn't find any olives. Professor Don Iman sends his apologies. He suggested you call at a later date. Sure. Well, it's belly bump. Come on. Later. Thank the professor for the drink. Oh, that's a fintuisler. You get to keep the glass. He's come here to do a story. I'll go to the cheap draw scotch, probably cutty. Hey, it's a very Brady Renaissance. Well, on the other hand, I did get a free drink. I'll come back tomorrow, see if they remember me. Half free, that's all they ever. Hey, what the heck? What, how, how do you work an automatic anyway? What's this? Dulap man following our hero? I'm gonna coast down the driveway to get it started. <coughs> <coughs> Ooh. Ow! Ooh. Uh, your dog's ringing. Oh, it's the phone. <laughs> well, it's about time. Where are you? I'm on a sound In stage. A cozy little hideaway. Wish you were here. Glenn? How'd the conference go? I'd say the corporation is on shaky ground. Hmm. Uh, what did the research department turn up on our friend? Oh, he's considered a good citizen and all that. <laughs> you should hear his ideas about all men being equal. Well, he's supposed to be a little eccentric. And in scientific circles, his books are considered five He's calling from the I Dream of Jimmy credits. About our dum, dinner dum, date. Dum, dum, dum. Are you asking me? Ah, Dad. I'm telling <laughs> Anything you like, as long as it's the villa at eight. You devil. You know how I love that place. How could I refuse? I didn't expect you to. Oh, and Gail, on your way, pass by the library and get me copies of Mr. D's book. See you at eight. <laughs> Zinger. Mm. <laughs> What's this? Okay. Henry so Oh, sorry. America, <laughs> building <laughs> cities, <laughs> drinking <laughs> booze. <laughs> Say. Say. <laughs> Large club? We, we serve fun and shaky. He's also pizza. Another bottle, Mr. Martin? What are you, nuts? No, thanks, Gino. Just the check, please. Yes, sir. Uh, I gotta go into the bathroom and get the gun out of the toilet. Remember me? I'm the girl you took to dinner. I'm sorry. You changed your hair. I guess I was someplace else. You look like you got troubles. Come on, let's talk about them. What do you call this? Gail, there's something weird going on out there, but I, I can't put my finger on it. Well, if you don't know what it is, don't put your finger on it. <laughs> All I could at the library. It seems the science students in this town really dig Mr. D. Hey, Mr. D. Best regards. There you go. Park. Thank you, Gino. Thank you, sir. Come on. Let's do some research. Tonight? <laughs> Tonight. Oh, man, I thought we... Heads we do. Tales we don't. It's an Etruscan penny. Luck be a lady denier. Oh. oh. <laughs> Come on, we need the chair. Oh, the shop bites. Please, mister, please, don't play C-17. I hate that I know that. Mm -hmm. Jim Henson's Jack Palance Babies. 
Ah, Phil Harris and Bubbles Rothmere in the background for those playing along at home. Hmm. You guys think that uh, Phil Harris drank? No. I, you? I don't know. Look, why don't you just do it in the bus tubs for crying out loud? Now. Right now. Like crap bigger than them. Visit Syria. Hey, uh, Bob, is this Rob Bacon for me? That's a Pedro Almodovar film. He's doing a translation of the Karma Sutra. Glenn, <laughs> there's one thing I don't understand. If Professor Dornheim is the mastermind of these robberies, what is he doing with the materials? You think he's shipping them abroad? Why do I sound like Polly Holiday? Glenn, I'm talking to you. Yeah, I thought so. Well, say something. 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 Sometimes I wonder what I see in you. Got riff back on that. Simple. Me. Gail, what do you know about cybernetics? Cyber who? Cybernetics. It's the study of calculators and computers, all kinds of mechanical devices to control automation. Mechanical brains. So, cybernetics. So Dornheimer is the chief exponent in the field. He's the father of the thinking machine. Come on, jump over the That's couch That's the now. trouble today. It's getting to the point where people hardly have a chance to think for themselves. Um, could you well, not I talk? Get the connection. Please. You just said it. I did? Yeah, listen to what Dornheimer says. And there's every reason to believe that in time, man will devise a method whereby a mechanical brain system will be linked electronically with a human nervous system thereby creating a totally independent thinking machine. Mm, that'll be me Once pretty much. this phase has been accomplished, it will only be a short step to the creation of the ultimate in mechanical devices. Me. The no, android. me. Now me. Android? Me. Uh, me. me. What's mm. an android? Me. An android, dear, is a, a robot, like a mechanical man. Like my acting. So there'd be one important difference. An android would look exactly like a human being. Except for the huge bolts in the an neck. An android that looks like a human being? Mm -hmm. Like you or me? Or Wells or or Dr. Munson. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's the wildest thing I ever heard Let's of. Let's drink then, love. Glenn, you don't believe that's possible, do you? Excuse me, I'm going to go toss myself out the window here. Glenn, <laughs> you don't believe that Professor Dornheim has actually done this, do you? Gail. All through history, there have been men with minds like Dornheimer's. Like Dornheimer's? Like Dorn 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 as far as their minds can reach. Anything they conceive, I they can see can better. Create. <laughs> so, why not end? <laughs> Oh, this is beautiful. That's me, and hey, that's me, and look over there. There I am. <laughs> you know, there's a whole lot of me in here. <laughs> Truckloads of me and more on the way. <laughs> Hi, Tom. Well, hello there, Tom. You're looking pretty dapper today. And hey, oh, huh. he's looking sickly. Well, you're going to get that. Lose two or three a day. It's just part of the business. You can't get too attached. <laughs> See, Crow, that's why it's evil to duplicate. Everyone's an individual, and that's why it's a sacrilege to think that you have the right to... Oh, my God! Oh, easy, oh, fellas, easy. Oh. It's okay. Hi, guys, guess what? Tom, what have you done? Oh, well, I'm oh. just playing God. It's going pretty well. <laughs> Tom, you've made dozens and dozens of yourself. I don't think that's right. You know, you brought up some very serious psychomoral issues here, Buster. Huh. Frankly, oh. uh, I don't see a problem, Joel. I've just surrounded myself with an endless horde of oh. mindless disciples ready ah. to go forth and do my bidding. Ah. I guess I don't see a downside. <laughs> How'd you do it anyway? Oh, you know, simple prototype, Japanese management style, just-in-time stock procedures. Uh, hey, we got more out back. Where do you want them? Uh, just make sure they're all signed in. Roger. Oh, Tom, listen, this is wrong. You know, I'm not going to take care of them. I'm not going to feed them and keep them out of the kitchen, okay? Tom, 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 once huh. again, you really didn't think this thing through, did you? Huh. Like, you're so cool that we need more of you. Ah, cynics, huh? All right, Toms, attack! Tear them apart! Get them! Rip them up! Ha <laughs> ha! Come on, attack! Come on, you're embarrassing me! Um... That's all! <laughs> I guess you were right. It is wrong to play God. I've certainly learned my lesson. Yeah. Goodbye. I, 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 I know one guy that needs a time out. Oh, no! Oh, oh, what a lame thing. Uh, hey! Hi! You're kind of cute. Ah, uh, uh, Joel! <laughs> uh, hey! What the? Hey, cut that out! Oh, we got more inside! Oh, oh. Don't 
do it anymore. I just don't want you to Sorry. just stop. Okay? Sorry. Just to <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Oh, oh it's okay. terrible. Okay. With him. Well. Hmm. Oh, great. The souvenir shop's closed. Hey! Give someone else a chance at that ball! Oh, it's got a real cute shape on him. Hey. Well, I'm actually kind of glad it's locked. I'm pretty tired now. I can knock off kind of. I'm Hans Christian Anderson. Timothy, Timothy, hungry as hell, no food to eat. Hmm. Well, here's something that never happened in his career. Hey, it's got a loft. Wow. And torso is cool. Tony Bennett. I left my head. Boy. If a fellow were happened to be a human duplicator, he could have a ball up here. Hmm. Now, are these natural formations? It's sacred Miracle Cave. <laughs> <laughs> Say, nice gams. Looks like he broke into the display at Chess King. <laughs> Richard Keel's got a butt collection. Yeah. Oh, Tom Jones and Peter Garretts. What do you know? Pull me down. Oh, uh, excuse me, do you work here? Oh, no. Hmm. Mark Twain. No, it's Hal Holbrook, actually. Oh. Look, no one's going to tell you you need Clearasil. Oh, just looking for the bathroom, nothing, nothing. Oh. Hold me, Wall, hold me tight. If you don't move, you're invisible, remember that. Mm hmm? Hmm. Hmm, just in time. I'm starved. Hmm. How come I never get nurses like that? Hey, who's playing that contrabassoon? Oh, Holly North? <laughs> contrabassoon. <Ooh>, well <laughs> Where angels go, trouble follows. Dom, we'll be back in a half an hour, Mr. DeLuise. Well, back for another load. You know, for nurses, they're not very speedy. Mm -hmm. That's why they work in a morgue. Oh. Hmm. Hey, they're hickory smoking people in here. Oh, fellow must have been Jewish. They buried him in a steam bath. Oh, <laughs> it's a damn. Sea. Judy Karn? I'm up, I'm up. Too much porcelana. Oh, too bad, that's her throwing hand. <laughs> Martin Sheen! <laughs> then he found one that was just right. Ooh, that guy's ripe. Ah, uh, I think there's a pattern developing here. Uh -huh. There's people in these things. Oh. oh, this one's gone over. Mm -hmm. They should label those. Yeah, you know, it's always the last place you look. The doctor will see you now. Shattered, shattered. Shadooby, shattered. Clean up in aisle three. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> Zing. Oh. Well, that was a cool exhibit. What's next, I wonder? Oh. Tickets, please. Tickets, please. Tickets, please. Well, he's a queer dog. Mm -hmm. Oh, the Guthrie Lab. A wall of ginger snap. Mm. Oh, it's Malibu Barbie torture chambers. Please. Hi, I am New Asian Barbie. <laughs> well, that was great, Pink Lady. Uh, we're going to lay down the rhythm track now. Uh, I have no idea what I'm doing here. <laughs> and the phone lines are going crazy. Let's take it from the top. A little more bass this time. It stinks. I'm gonna take my lunch break now. Excuse me. 
Oh, she always takes her break, no matter what. Doctor. Oh, dream weaver. Oh, Dennis weaver. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh, she's turning off the gym lights. Mm. Oh, she's cooking up just fine. It's like Rick Wakeman. Huh, well, kind of close, I suppose. Do I really look like that? <laughs> oh, come on, Doc. Did your kid make that thing? I sing the body pathetic. <laughs> Uh, I think you need more toner. <laughs> Hunan duplicator. Right, because they're identical yeah. Susie Wongs. Uh, yeah, because two Wongs don't oh, make a wax. No, oh, no. Oh, oh, don't hit me. Pardon me, Beth. Honk, honk. Well, there's something you don't see every day. What's that, Edgar? Please. It's Glenn Norton. Mr. Martin, what are you doing here? I'm going to be a world champion yes. blind lady. These things aren't for you to see. It's about time somebody saw what's going on down there. No, the professor will not permit it. Listen, Lisa, your uncle's a murderer, a madman. You've got to realize that. My uncle isn't responsible for what's happening. Oh, don't give me that. I can see what's going on. Hey, we're trying to duplicate down here. It's deceiving. The real Professor Dornheimer is locked up in the lower basement. How about, about the real, real Inspector professor? Hound? That man hmm? down there is only a copy of my uncle, a twin created by Kolos. And Diet Kolos? Kolos. Who is Kolos? Come on, tell me, is is he in charge of this operation? Uh, he's Perhaps. team leader or something like oh. that. Your touch is uncomfortable Please to me. Go, Mr. Martin. You'll only cause trouble and my uncle will be killed. There's going to be trouble, all right. And I don't want you around when it happens. Uh, sorry to interrupt. We're trying to well, work down here. My friend, Mr. Martin. Oh. I hadn't expected you to return so soon. It's John Shock. Mm -hmm. And without calling for an appointment. I tried, but I was put on hold for like five minutes, OK? All right, you can cut the histrionics, Dornheimer. One big singular actor. sensation. That's very interesting. Am I to believe that you are here to stop the show all by yourself? You believe whatever you like. For my opening bit Come kills. Now look, Professor, don't press your luck. I'll use this if I have to. Then you'd better begin. Uh, now? Like, now? Oh, okay. Okay, now. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Oh, nuts, uh, oh, 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 poopy. He's oh. dressed like Marilyn McCoo. <laughs> Wait, he's mine. Kill, master. Kill, kill, kill. No, he will not kill. Enemy, kill, kill. Faster, pussycats. Ah, slight design flaw. There's my watch. Yes, Mr. Martin. Androids. Not very good, androids. Superhuman robots. The workforce of tomorrow. You mean slaves and killers, don't you? Yeah, that's what I meant. Or maybe, maybe warriors would be a better term. Uh, great. Can I use that? Whatever best serves our purpose, Mr. Martin. We're not arguing semantics if here. If we need slaves, we build them. If we need an army, we shall have one. Uh, probably won't we need, need one, but uh, you scientist. never know. If you materials for us, we simply duplicate him and program his brain to serve our cause. If we should decide that we could benefit from the services of a secret agent, do you know what we would do? We deep fry it. It's pretty obvious, isn't it? Yes, Mr. Martin. We would duplicate him. And you can be on the ground floor. Well, okay, but don't duplicate my butt. <laughs> this will be your final mistake. <laughs> that is a matter of opinion. Fortunately, opinions can be changed. As you shall see. By reading the op-ed page. Should we remove the original Dr. Young to the refrigeration chamber? No, we may need another duplication of Dr. Young. Yeah, we've really been tearing through we those guys. We prepare a cell for her. Good. Then prepare the duplication chamber for Mr. Martin. Jensen. Make sure it's clean this time, too. Oh, my, you do feel warm. It is a simple choice between pain and relief. Is it safe? Where's that enigmatic little smile now, mister? Well, it's so natural, people think I've lost weight. Audio tubes. Audio tubes. If I had half a brain, I'd... Oh. Audio tubes. <laughs> Tube power must be Macintosh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Memory cells. Memory cells. 
Memory cells. Big pen, giant eraser from Florida, some Mike and Ike's. Memory cells. Regrets, shortcoming, personality flaws. Auto electric cell. Huh? Oh, that must have been her point of view. <sighs> no. Photoelectric cells. Ho-hos, cupcakes, ding-dongs. Optical Speak to me, fudge wall. Optical transceivers. Already in there, standard. Yeah. I now pronounce you Alan and Rossi. And now, Mr. Martin, the final phase of my unique operation. Your hair. The duplication of your mental powers. Every fragment of knowledge you possess will be transmitted to your twin's mechanical brain. And in addition, a considerable amount of information you do not possess. Uh, like how to do color analysis. Glenn Martin. Bill Bixby. M-I-A. Now works for us. Welcome aboard, son. And he has an assignment. Math. Very important mm. assignment. So there, you can pay the receptionist as you leave. Oh, did you see Madonna's book? Oh, I can't believe it. it was so uh, can I have a magazine over here? I just closed my eyes again. If you don't look good, we don't look good. Here at DeVry. Here at DeVry. There's a big future in computer pearls. Wherever Doug and Tony are now, at least they're together. He's got crazy straws on his head. He just took a hit off his own hair. <laughs> but the man who took Tristan is breathing freely. And oh, what a lucky man he was. <laughs> They must be doing aromatherapy. Okay, roll over. Hmm? Oh. This is what the boys did. What? They duplicated Lumpy? Pacific Laboratories. When? Yes, June. I'm still at work trying to put food on our table. You ungrateful. Oh, uh, if you get any lead on it, let me know. I'll get started on here. Look, he's got Desiderata That's on. Another the robbery. Hmm. Chemistry lab this time. Last night, someone drove off with a truckload of polyethylene materials. Well, that's a switch. Jimmy Smith. Any suspects? Yeah, that's a switch, too. Jimmy Smith, too. Young, one of their top chemists. She was known to be there late last night, known to be in the supply rooms, and she's vanished without a trace. Where's Martin? He should have checked in hours ago. What up? <laughs> I'm worried about him, Austin. Maybe he's in trouble. No, you don't need to worry about Martin. He can take care of himself. He's probably on to something, and he just can't get to the telephone. Oh, don't tell me you're not worried, too. I know you better than that. She's been waiting in mud? All right. Hmm. Let's have it out. We don't hear from him by noon today. I'll, I'll go out to the Dornheimer estate myself. This case is developing into a nightmare. I, uh, Miss Hart, get me the file on Dr. Lynn Young. Get it yourself. Well, Martin, where in blazes have you been? Haven't you ever heard of the telephone? Yes, I have heard of a telephone. Now, don't get your ulcers in an uproar. I have good news. For modern yeah, men. I'm sure I know where the next robbery is going to take place. Where? Pacific Laboratories. It's already happened. Last night, I just got the report on it. The Chinese oh. chemist, Dr. Lin Young, set it up. Yes, I know. Uh, and she's vanished, just like the rest of them. Glenn, how did you know about this? Is Professor Dornheimer behind it? Dornheimer? Of course not. He's 100% in the clear. He wants to help us. And he did. He fed all the facts into his calculators and came up with Pacific Laboratories and Dr. Lin Young. And Allow me right. to gesture like Michael Dukakis. Did he say he's back of the operation? Do you have any ideas about that? Yes, but I'll have to check out a few leads before I can be sure. I'll need a reservation on the 730 plane for Washington. Washington? You mean you think this organization has members in, in the Capitol? <gasps> it might. That's what I'm going to find out. I'll help you get past. No. D -d -d don't I touch the head. Don't you want me to drive you to the airport? I'll take a cab. I don't want to be conspicuous. I'm being followed, you know. No, I didn't know. Your touch is uncomfortable to Glenn, me. Be careful. Mm, what is careful? Something plastic about that guy. Miss Hart. 
Get Mr. Martin a reservation on the 7.30 flight for Washington tonight. Austin. City limits. Did you notice something strange about Glenn? Well, his pants were right, ill-fitting, but I did... Seemed a little more serious than usual, but there's nothing wrong with a man being serious. Oh, I don't mean that. Yes? Something... Yes, would you like me to... Uh, yes, something would you like cold. me to... Uh, yes, did you, did you want something? Austin. Uh, would you please, would you if you like... Would you if you saw yeah, one? hello? Would I... Some of my best friends are androids. Uh, well, now that you mention that, uh, I, yes, I, I don't I'm, believe I would. I'm right here. If uh, you... Would you? Uh, uh, would you please get your hand I'm off the... I'm not sure. Uh, uh... Where are you off to? See the wizard? I think it's about time I did some undercover work. Oh, wow. Pepper, you're going undercover. Oh, I know an android if I saw one. Uh, Blazes is an uh, android. <laughs> Andy Cap, Andrew Dice Clay, Andrew Lloyd Webber, Andy Panda, Andy Stewart, Androgynous, uh, I mean, frigga, frigga. Android. Yeah. Resembling a human. See David Geffen. Mechanical man. Yeah, woo, woo this. Robot. They want to make something of it? Robot. Yeah. Oh, now I got to look up robot. Oh. Pinky Fleming. We now have eight highly skilled dupes successfully integrated into the society. And Sparky this Anderson. This number will increase rapidly with the addition of an important new duke. Who is this important android, Kolo? He's a member of the society's national intelligence organization. Hmm. He's in a prime position to procure large quantities of materials necessary to our progress. You mean pens? And what of the original? Has he been destroyed? No. I request that he be preserved until the mm. twin completes his first assignment. We may find it advantageous to produce several of these agents. Um. As in the case of Professor Dornheimer, this type of android is extremely sophisticated. He likes Noel Coward and Martinez. The Council has noticed a discrepancy in your last report. The records no. do not indicate that Professor Dornheimer's ward, maybe I can check, has been duplicated. Um, I might be able. What is the status of this matter? Well, if you Does let that me... not appear necessary to subject this human being to duplication? I think I could... Look, can she I just throw something no in here? She purpose as an android. But I don't think that... I chose to keep her an original. Agent Kolo, we do not tolerate such independent actions. It is an Yellow man. Hmm. that human beings cannot be trusted. <laughs> you will duplicate the young girl at once. But to think like the human, yes, to be the it human. Yeah, I'll do that, all right. God, what a... I warn you, Koros. <laughs> the galaxy beings are correct. A human being is a creature of many complex emotions. Hmm. Even a child can bring about our destruction. A child. Lisa can cause us no harm. We cannot take this risk. I will bring her here at once. No. I am the master here. Hmm. We will do as I command. If you interfere, Professor, I will destroy you. Oh, great. Now I have that to live with. Oh, just go pout now. Uh, don't look at my butt. And, and keep lunch to an hour, too. Now this is why I bought the place. You know, you don't often find a full dungeon in Southern California. No, you usually get kind of like a half dungeon is all. It's Mrs. Soulful, and there's Mel Gibson. What do you know? Mr. Martin. Uh, oh, me. I thought you were talking to someone else. Well. <gasps> Boom shadow. Terpsichore. Quit calling me that. Imagine meeting you down here in Hades. How's my uncle? He's still alive, Lisa, but I... <coughs> He's starting to look like uh, the skipper, <coughs> I think. He needs medical attention badly. No, duh. No, but how? They're watching every move I make. Carlos knew I was down here. He'd have us all killed. I just don't know what to do. I do, but I have to get out of here to do it. Mm -hmm. And unfortunately, I've lost my good luck charm. And my will to live. I don't have any charm to break these bars. Boy, you ain't a kid. I don't know the magic powers of my lucky coin. A coin? Hmm? I found a coin on a stairway landing in the laboratory. Must be yours. Honey, Where I love you. It's in my room. Oh, I've used it in the dryer doing my wash. Please. Do you think that you could get back down here again without being seen? I could for a dollar. Right tonight. They don't know about the secret passage. It's right. so secret, it's even I chance. don't know. Get that coin for me and come back as soon as you can. I 
don't understand how... Look, please, just try and get it, Lisa. I'll explain to you later. Well, I'm going out with the girls tonight. Can uh, we do it tomorrow? Lisa, please be careful. I will. Oh, and could I get some toast or something? Oh, in a magazine? Maybe like People? It's the Planet of the Apes room at Fanta Suites. <laughs> and I'm really grasping at straws here. Terps flowery. <laughs> it's Delta. Hmm. He who smelt a Delta. Oh. Hey, look, guys, now we're going to find out who Deep Throat really is. Ooh. Bet it's Hal Holbrook. Yeah, they'll never spot a red convertible with a hot blonde. <laughs> Boy on a Scotsy. Next exit, gas, food, lodging, and murder. Oh, I'm the friendly stranger in the black sedan. Watch out inside my car. Ring Don't get this. I can drive right in here, but you can't get into a post office after four in the afternoon. <laughs> This isn't exactly bullet, is it? Mm -mm. Candio, I need you so. He is a great guy, even though he is our enemy. Oh, jeez, I've got my pajamas on under this. I was just gonna pick him up, but no, I gotta go in and get him. Look, mister, I own the government. I pay your salary. And when I say there was no capitalism in the Navy, I mean there was some. Oh, she seemed all right. Hey, if it's marked top secret, please don't look at it. So anyway, that's when I got into stamps. Anyway, t Ted? Ted? Lost him. Hmm. Hmm. Hey, look, room two, two, oh. Gary, I know you don't want to go out with me, but can I at least have an explanation? Gary? 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 Oh. Get, ah. Oh. Lynn, what are you doing? I'm sick washing my Roscoe. Hey! <laughs> She's a great detective. <laughs> look, I was kidding. Hell, hey, look, I got one. <laughs> Keep her. Which one's the duplicator and which one's the duplicatee? <laughs> oh, for crying, I can't even afford to throw a guy through a window in this movie. Oh, he had a chia head. Mm. Uh, I didn't break it, it just fell. Uh, Oh, let's go. Yeah. Hey, look, fresh from Kent State. You know, for all the security they have, it sure was easy getting in. Joel, this movie's really great, and it's really good to see Richard Keel spread his wings as an actor, but what's the deal with Hugh Beaumont? Yeah, I know, he seems kind of crabby. Yeah, you know, you hate to say it about the sweet old guy, but he's really kind of a jerk. Oh! oh, 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 oh Give me oh, rocket number nine! Oh. Somebody's trying to make contact. Give me the Hexville view screen. Hugh Beaumont? Don't Hugh Beaumont me. I heard what you were saying about me, you backstabbing little busybodies. <laughs> uh, oh, uh, hey, uh, last time I saw you, uh, you were pulling that horseman of the apocalypse gig. Uh, what happened? It, it was too many miles on the spaceship. I was always eating at greasy truck stop. Ah. Well, what do you do now? What are you, writing a book, huh? You making a documentary, huh? There, I send in some coffee, lots of it. And give me some aspirin and some ibuprofen. Well, you uh, probably have a nice job in insurance or something, huh? Why are you so interested in my affairs, Mr. Uh, Team uh, Robot? I think we better change the subject. Uh, so, Hugh, how's Beaver? You see him much anymore? <laughs> Beaver. <laughs> how's Beaver? How's Hugh? Why don't you ask that, huh? Nobody ever asks how Hugh is with me. It's always work, 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 and everybody takes it for granted. When I get home, there's still more questions. Dad, I got caught in a giant coffee cup. Will you help me? Dad, I don't get girls. You are never gonna get girls, you freckled little dumpling. Don't you get it? 
You're always underfoot. I never get any time with my wife. And even if I do, does she greet me at the door wearing saran wrap and stiletto heels? No, she's in a pink frilly dress with a warm pie in her hands. What good does that do me? Well, look, I got to get going. It's been nice talking to you kids. You kids remember to listen to your parents. It's just possible they might know what they're talking about. Always knew he was going to blow. But still a sweet guy. Yeah. yeah. <sighs> huh, I think he needs a vacation, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> needs to be a restaurant that converted into a warehouse. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, I'm getting this Rolex. <laughs> All right, soldier, hit that switch. Got it. Hey, oh. it's a really good ball joint. They've disarmed him. <laughs> uh, went out on a limb. Oh, oh yeah, we're supposed to be chasing him. Mm. Yeah, keep the arm. Thanks a lot. Uh, lights? It's the world according to Garp. Oh, no. Dickweed! We'll leave a note, at least a finger. Oof. Locate, all in, seat belts, people, space cushion, blind spot. Let's move out. There you go. Yeah, no, no, look at don't, look out, look at don't. Oh, hey, nice coronet, huh? I mean, the car. You know, I can't hold back on a Whitman sampler. Ooh. Pretty, yeah. Could probably duplicate that. Uh, probably some money there. Uh, I could duplicate this mirror, but it would be a lot cheaper just to buy one. Let's see. You know, he gets so introspective during the holidays. Mm -hmm. Yes. Hmm. No pretty noise there. Heads I win. Is someone in here duplicating? Carlos, why are you here in my room? Mm, it's my room, too. I wish to talk with you, Lisa. All right, it's been a long day. What is it? About what, Carlos? You know, stop. My superiors have advised me that it's a mistake to allow you your freedom. They have warned me you cannot be trusted. On the cities, Do you 97. believe that? I do not know. Would you betray me, Lisa? I gave I'm my so word. flattered you would ask. You must trust in me as I do in you. Professor Dornheimer has also warned me. Everybody's on my It face. is his wish that you be duplicated Immediately. The twin professor does only as he is ordered by you. You are his master. Yes, that is true. Look, this is going nowhere. I am his master. But I am not my own. You're real deep, Richard. Knee him. Knee him in the head. What I have done here on your planet is not my choice. Oh, that's not me. I'm up here. Can you believe in that? I can if you ask me to. I must do these things. That's what Waldheim said. I am ordered to do them. I'd rather press if flower. I, fail, I will be destroyed. OK, your point? This place you come from, Kolos. Are the people there like we here on Earth? No. They are different. They're tallish. They are superior in mind and technology. But not in face. They are the masters of the galaxy. They are my masters. Yes. I understand. Is that felt? It is now. I love that joke. <laughs> There's your dolly. Pretty dolly. Dress it up in pretty clothes. Uh, uh, I am so awkward in the situation. So am I going to get duplicated or what? What's the plan? I can sense he has a nice butt. Da 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 do 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 So does he sleep on the couch or in a guest room or what? Uh, he has a couch. Oh yeah. Hello. 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 Attorney General William French Smith. Yes, Polos. Then Lisa. Pass it on. Huh? 
Bud hugs them nicely. Mm -hmm. Tailored. Quack. A woman walks down the stairs, past the huge daredevil lure. She approaches and passes a suit of armor. She pauses and then keeps walking. What is this, a slow motion drawing room comedy? It's Lisa. I, I know it's Lisa. It's so strange that you'd think I wouldn't know it was Lisa. Uh, you, you don't wear that kind of wardrobe. You put your wardrobe in that kind of wardrobe. It's the Android sisters. <laughs> it's, true. it's true. It's uh true. -huh. Hello. Hello. Well, so much for the secret passage. Oh, you can tell he's in the theater. He doesn't mind changing in front of people. Mm -hmm. Order. Do not contact the superiors. Okay, all right. You dare give me orders, Professor. It is I who give the orders. Yeah. I am your master. No longer, Polis. I am master now. There is no place for the weak in our colony. He's being attacked by the Jordanaires. <laughs> Come on, you guys, don't tickle. <laughs> kids. Um, can I get anyone anything? Well, where'd she go? It's Barbie and Barbie in a role that will surprise you. I think it's Bosom Buddies. Oh. Looks like Tom Hanks. You know, this is so cool down here. And the sailor said, Brandy, you're a fine girl. What a good, huh? Lisa, over here. Oh, Steve, I forgot what you wanted. Let's see. Good girl. Condescension man. Look, this may take a little time, so you better get back up there before they miss you. I can't. Something's happened. The professor. And Marianne. The other one. And the twin Thors have attacked Kolos. Well, thanks for watching Good, myself work for in me. Favor. What will they do to Kolos? Tiger Whatever ball? they do to him, hmm. it'll be too good for him. Somebody's coming. Act natural. Oh, hi. <laughs> twin powered nurses. You must come with us to the lab, Lisa. Is the water warm enough, Lisa? I will not. Kolos has ordered us. He has sent us for you. I don't believe that. You will. <laughs> Stay alive! Whatever may occur, I will find you! Mr. Martin! Please, it's Steve! Huh. Takes all kinds, I guess. Well. <laughs> He's flossing the bars. These bars are gonna have the best checkup they've ever had. Oh, the, the yellow, yellow rose, rose of Texas, Texas the, the only, only rose, rose for me! You and your galaxy masters. You programmed me with too much knowledge. You allowed my mechanical brain to cross over the barrier that separates the android from the human. The power of independent thought. You and your masters have violated a basic rule. This is so bold. A scientific law. You must never program a mechanical device with more wisdom than you yourself possess. You know, there's a lesson to be learned here. You must here, never you create a robot. <laughs> uh -huh. That can outsmart you. <laughs> Too late, Joel. <laughs> In a perfect android society, there is no room is for human beings to have weaknesses. We have no feelings. We're Republicans. We are superior in every way. Except for your ties. We are the master race. <laughs> We've heard that one before. Mm -hmm. Wow, it's blaze and lace of American gladiators. Uh, uh, not that I watch it, no, I... No, I'm not going to dance in this thing. Three weeks later... <laughs> Man, Just I'm working up a rondo thirst. Just hold on, Professor. Hey, Gramps, we'll how you. about taking your turn at the bar, huh? Now you can't fight them alone. I must help you. Please, <clears throat> just try to rest and save your strength. Not bad. Not too weak to talk. Uh, I'm sorry, what were you saying? The androids are composed of a network of... Ones and zeros. Electrical equipment. Some of it 
extremely delicate. Mm -hmm. Especially sure. the brain. Oh, that makes sense. Cards, cards! Yes, Professor. You must upset that balance and cause an electrical breakdown. The pulse lasa beam is the answer. Listen, Mr. Martin. Please, it's Steve. You must concentrate the beam on the android's head. Listen, I don't have to do anything. Bring the sharp focus. A mental Dying breakdown. is easy. Take Comedy is hard. If you can manage it. Uh, I, I missed everything you said after, could you come over here? You outmatch them. Oh. <coughs> oh, yeah. creepy. Creepy there. I'll manage, Professor. Girl, I got duplicated and I'm not lying around. Jeez. No, higher, back of the throat. Oh, these stupid shades. The following June. Yep, still not big enough. Oh. Don't wait up for me, old man. <laughs> oh, dual overhead misses. Oh. Dun, 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 dun. Da -da 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 -dun, da -da 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 Dun, 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 dun. Oh, this really bucks up my packs. Uh, uh. Hey! Hey! Go Woo! get him! Go get him! Woo! Man, you guys are getting into this, aren't you? I don't know. Stay away from him, you bitches. Uh, camera two, clear the shot, please. <laughs> Spotlight dance, Richard Keel. Doesn't do much, but it sure lights the place, huh? Ooh. These guys are little, but they'll crawl ya. <laughs> They're getting bored. <laughs> Wait, Otto Preminger's getting away. Dum dum dum. Timber! <laughs> Wait a minute, they're fighting each other all of a sudden. I, I, I think it's the end of the movie. No, stop, you're killing me. <laughs> this is weird. These progressive dance clubs are getting out of hand. Mm -hmm. Gentlemen, gentlemen, it, ooh. Ow! I am so ashamed. Oh, lost my head over that one. <laughs> That's it. Hog pile on me. Woohoo, yay. Just kind of run to the Biffy. Be right back. <laughs> Not an android. Mm -hmm. Just walking, calmly walking. Up comes the door. Well, I've been spending all movie inside, and it's beautiful out here. Damn, Mom's here. I'm Howard Keel, no relation to Richard Keel. Finally, we meet in the living room. <laughs> Don't try it, One they're more decorative. will be your last. Your threats do not alarm me. Okay, they do. You forget, I know no fear. Androids have no emotions, Mark. Look what happened. Hey, wipe my feet. Professor Dornheimer, I was not correctly programmed. No duplicate of mine is going to say that. I must see the master. I am the master here. Hmm. Do as I command you. Not as I do. Destroy this human being. But it is my twin. We are not humans. He is our enemy. Kill him. I want this you situation taken care of. I command you. I am your master. No, Colas is the master. I obey no other. You stupid mechanical. <laughs> no, Dad, not the belt. <laughs> oh, my G.I. Joe arm. Ow. Oh. Oh, the gloves are off. They're tied up against the boards. Lou Nanny is running in to break it up. Oh. 
Oh, yeah, yeah, that's the spot right there, yeah. Hit him in the head, they've got Hummel heads. Virginia Graham, thank God we're saved. Did we come at a bad time? Darling. They died as they lived in each other's arms. But for G.I. Joe and his fighting force, there would be another day. Ooh. Oh no, he's gonna take her to the tower, isn't he? Uh, did we get everything here? Uh, oh. Ow. Uh, sorry about your head, I think. Oh, exit, stage left. Oh. Somebody want to say something? It's kind of dragging here. Uh, someone drop this. The hell? Mr. Martin. Uh, call me Steve. I was sent here to prepare your society for conquest by the masters of the galaxy. But it didn't really pan out. I have failed in my mission. Big time. I have failed not because I am weak, but no. because you are stronger. I will leave your planet now. OK. I must return to a world of cold and unemotional galaxy beings. Minnesota? I will give them my report. And then I will be destroyed. But enough about me. But it will not matter. You see, Mr. Martin, I know now that I, too, am an android. Well, I didn't think they piled human stuff that high. Oh. Uh. Am I Liz Taylor yet? Ooh, you Snickers snagged on me. Sweet mystery of life, at last I've found you. Well, I am off to be destroyed. Transport safely, Dick. <laughs> what was that all about? Well, another day, another dollar. <laughs> you can check out any time you like, but you can never leave. Mm -hmm. Where did I park that spaceship? I was at the airport. I was in a cab here. That's all I saw. I wonder if that tickles. I bet it does. Hmm. Mark calling Olsen. Mark calling Olsen. Come in, Olsen. What a weird day. <laughs> staying alive. Staying alive. <laughs> Nanu, Nanu. Yep. Finally. <laughs> Finally, yeah. Hey! Hey, hey, hey. All right. Well, I think I liked her best in the powder blue shorty with the matching tights. Crow, you have got your taste all up. All right, enough, enough, you two. You know, despite all the really dumb things in today's movie, I thought it was really great that Richard Keel finally came out in the end and uh -huh. confessed that he was indeed a android. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's not like we didn't know it all along, but just to have the moxie to come out and say, hey, this is who I am, and I'm proud. It's pretty neat, really. Yeah, well, it was really just a matter of time before he had to come out. Mm -hmm. Have you seen this week's issue of Robot Nation? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Uh-huh. You know, I always had a hunch about him. Yep, look at that. Mm -hmm. Every one of them. Tweaky, the girl from Small Wonder, Robbie the Robot, Al Gore. You know, I hear that having dinner with R2-D2 is just like admitting it. Yeah. Admitting what? Joel, uh, Tom and I have something to tell you. Mm -hmm. You two got into my sewing kit again? Joel, Joel, Joel. I wish things were still that simple. But, well, this is something I think we've all known for a long time. Mm -hmm. I know we've alluded to it. A stilted joke here, a fleeting doubt there, and yet never have we actually said, <coughs> Joel, Tom and I... Uh, uh, <sighs> Oh, for crying out in the beer. <clears throat> Joel, Crow and I are robots, and we want the world to know. Well, Tom, I knew that. Now, can uh, we get on with this letter? Uh, sure, but Joel, how did you already know? 
Tom, it's more than a little obvious, all right? Yes. Let's put this up on Still Store there. Oh. This one is from a Kevin Jones, and it's from Ypsilanti, Michigan. He Yip says, Dear Joel, I like Mystery Science Theater. I watch your show every time I get a chance. Uh, I was just watching your show. It's the one about the ghost who haunts Tom Stewart. I just saw him die. Hmm. Well, I'll tell you a little about myself. I'm 11 years old. My name is Kevin Jones. So write back to me, okay? Sincerely, Kevin Jones. Uh, we certainly will, Kevin. <laughs> and if you would like to write to us, send your letters to the Mystery Science Theater 3000 Information Club, Post Office Box 5325, Hopkins, Minnesota, 55343. You tell him? He knew. Hmm? Well, what up, sirs? <laughs> is it William Conrad is actually going to be here. <laughs> yeah, like Cannon is going to show up here, I'm sure. <laughs> Frank, it's, it's the big one! Literally. After him! Oh, come on, relax, Chief. He's not going to get far. How true, how true. What say, in honor of the occasion, I press the button this week? This would be an honor. Thank you, Frank. <laughs>